to my store. It's Wednesday. Uh, honestly, I think this whole transition into fall has basically put a hiccup in my step because I'm running a little bit on the slow side. I did stop at the thrift store, my real favorite thrift store, and I got some Bob Mackie pieces. And so I think the majority of you <laughs> know who Bob Mackie is. Um, he actually used to do costumes for Cher and they had some Bob Mackie sweaters. So I picked those up and I, did get a chance to watch Exo McKenna in France and it made me miss France. I love France. And honestly, if you decide you want to go to France and you're really into like shopping the flea markets, please watch my video um, that I made last June. Um, if she would have watched my video, she would have done a lot better with the flea markets because, yes, you should always go to the big one, Klingon Court, um, which is the huge flea market in Paris. But really, you go to look because the prices are so expensive there. But there's an app that's amazing and it's for all of France. It tells you uh, where all the pop-up flea markets are, town-wide garage sale. So I found some really amazing things and I don't know, you, you probably get this, but like, aren't there like certain places you just have an affinity for that you just want to return to again and again? Well, that's France for me. And I have to really fight the urge to like book a ticket to go back. Anyways, um, so even though I'm feeling a little bit slow, I do have a car full of items I have to unload. And honestly, it is really rare for me to say this, but I kind of feel like I want to take a break this weekend. You know, you, everybody, everybody gets to that point where they just feel like, kind of just hit a wall. That's kind of where I'm at. But I'm in my fall outfit. You can't really see it. I'll pop a picture up above, but my friend made the cutest little bags. Um, this was his Pendleton coat and he cut it all up and made purses. That's what he does. Um, he's retired, but he does that for, you know, pocket money and he does such a good job so I told him to absolutely save me one So I decided we're just gonna hang out in the store. I'm gonna show you everything I'm putting now on the floor, what I'm pricing it at. So I found this little lamp. Gosh, it's been a couple months and it's been basically hanging out in the back. I paid $3 for it and it's a touch lamp from the 80s, which is completely vintage for, you know, anybody that's not our age, right? So I'm gonna price this one at $35. I also have this one, which has got kind of like this twisty um, design on it. I can't think of the word. Anyways, it's twisty and it has this kind of burlap, burlap lamp shade and it's also gonna be $35. So I just got a shipment of these. They are Moroccan slippers and I've carried them for, gosh, I think like a year and a half maybe. They are big sellers. And honestly, they sell more in the summer than they do the winter, which I don't understand because they're house slippers. So you're really not supposed to like wear them outside.
So the other thing I'm putting out today is this absolutely gorgeous, oh, and there's my fall outfit. <laughs> this gorgeous blue vase. It is super heavy. I got this at an antique um, estate sale or just an estate sale. And I did pay up for it. I paid $28, but I love the design of it. I loved this brilliant blue color. Kind of reminds me of like a Potosi vase. It's that same like bimini blue. Anyways, I'm gonna price this at $95 and it's going on the floor. Hot, Asian, probably Chinese, but look how pretty that is. It is tiny. I don't know what it was about the Chinese and tiny, tiny teapots. I mean, did they actually use these? Were these just for decorative purposes? I actually bought some clay ones um, that are very vintage um, that are going online, but this one's going to the store. And then I also found these carved elephants, probably from India. Look how intricate that is. They are so cool. And I am going to venture to say that these are not very, very old, probably from the 80s, probably made for the tourist trade. They probably still make these now. And they probably made them a hundred years ago too, but very pretty. And so I'm gonna put those out. And I found this little turtle. It's probably from South America. Whoops, it's got some sticker stuff on it. Um, anyways, I found this little pottery turtle, probably it could be from Mexico or anywhere in South America. And I think what you would do is like, you put your incense stick in there, right? And then, um, I don't know. I think it's for incense though. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Maybe you stick your incense stick in here and then the smoke comes out that way. I don't know, don't ask me. Anyways, I thought he was really cute and I love the pattern on his back. All of this was basically like a bundled buy so I can't even tell you what I paid for them. All I'm gonna say, you know, probably a couple dollars a piece. Here's some other bits and pieces I got in that bundle. I got this, it's a hands of hand and it looks to be made of leather. It's the same on, the, on both sides, but I love the colors and I love the fact that it is made of leather. And then I got this little Buddha box. We sell a lot of boxes in the store and this one's just really cute. And then the guy actually threw in a bunch of like bonus items, including this um, Thunderbird, is it a Thunderbird? It's a bird, Native American bird. I'm gonna say it's a Thunderbird. And anyways, I thought it was really cool. It's this beautiful wood box. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And then I also got these little, They. it looks to be, probably teak, but these beautiful coasters. And there are six of them. And the only thing is, is it has a little break right here on the corner. But if you turn it this way, you can't even notice. So this is also going out on the floor. Although I should put these online because these have been selling really good. Any of my wood co coasters have been a big hit. 
so this is our printer but I just put the lamp there and I'm gonna put the little teapot there I think it'll look cute and I priced this at $33 it is adorable so I picked up this Kokeshi doll actually at Lander Street Vintage. They were having their kind of clearance sale. So all the vendors had tables with a bunch of stuff. I cannot remember what I paid for her, but she's pretty valuable. These range anywhere between $48 and over $100. So I'm not going to keep her in the store. I'm taking her home to actually list online. I got this adorable little tray. I love this kind of periwinkle blue with the two birds. I already priced it at $13, so that's going out on the floor. And then this morning, I picked up these tiki cups. I think these are so cool. I love all the colors. I thought at first I would sell them individually, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to sell them as a set. I paid a dollar a piece for them, and I think I'm going to put maybe like $33 for the set of four. I got this little lamp. Um, gosh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I think it looks so pretty on this Florentine table with this pink and light blue teapot set that I think I paid $3 for at the Silicon Neighborhood garage sale. And I'm getting ready to mark this couch down. I've had it in the store since early summer and I have $1,300 on it. It was never used. It basically sat with plastic over it, um, but I think I'm gonna mark it down to 977. I haven't wanted to mark it down because I think it's so beautiful and I enjoy sitting on it when I have time to work on my computer. Um, but I think it's time to go because we need to switch out the colors of this space. So it's 326 and I did have some egg bites from Starbucks and a latte with sugar-free vanilla, but now I'm actually gonna go get um, a salad uh, right down the street at the little coffee shop. It's the best deal in town. It's a huge chef salad for 10.49. So I have noticed that when I come to work on Wednesdays, if I have some breakfast in the morning, I feel way more energized throughout the day because it's always really busy when I'm in the store as far as like putting merchandise away, pricing stuff, cleaning stuff. So I need all the energy I can get. So 
I picked up all this pottery this weekend. We sell a ton of stoneware pottery, this kind of heavy hand-thrown studio pottery from like the 70s. Look at this one. That would be awesome for like uh, Thanksgiving. And here's a piece of Fiesta. This is gonna go home with me because it's pretty valuable. So I think I'm gonna list that online. Here is, I think that this could be Fiesta or it could be Bauer, it's Fiesta. But the bottom one is Bauer and I have a big, big bowl that I actually just used as an ice bucket. And so I think I may take that home. This is really beautiful. Sorry, that's my marking pen. But look how pretty that is. And this one's really nice too. So anyways, we were getting really low on pottery. So I was really glad to get it. I'm not pricing this because it's getting to be five o'clock. And so I'm going to like finish doing some pricing of stuff that um, I want to get priced and I'll leave this for the girls. This, so I don't have a lot of space right here, but this is from a well-known artist. I'm sure you've seen his work. His name was James Hagen. I don't know if he's still alive, but this was from the 80s. This is a really large piece. It's behind the counter now. And um, it's, is called Cumberland and this one is going to be priced at like 185. I actually bought this from the Treasure Queen at Lander Street Vintage. That's one of my vendor neighbors and I think I only paid $30 for it and I wanted to buy it a couple of weeks ago and uh, totally forgot when I went back in, it was still there, which I don't get because look at the beautiful colors in this. I just really love it. Anyways, even if it sits here for a while, I don't care. We'll totally enjoy it. So I've been bringing in winter wear. So we got a ton of sweaters and jackets. I have a ton more in storage. We're very light on skirts. It is hard to find skirts, but we do have some. And I think I have some in the back that just need to be priced. And we've been getting rid of our like transitional dresses and our summer dresses. Um, those have been pretty much packed up. I still see some sleeveless ones, but those need to go as well. And hats, I love hats. Look at this one, this little corduroy one. It's so cute. This one, it's also kind of a page boy, but it's like this beautiful suede. And then we have a ton of these like, whoops, vintage caps. Like, look at that, Harris Tweed. So Cool. Love these hats and they actually do sell as well as our fedoras. So in the winter we sell a ton of fedoras. Uh, we have a couple of mannequins in the store. I really need to up my mannequin game, meaning I need to get new mannequins that are actually full size. Look how this one is so short. It is teeny. So she is fabulous. I think this is I don't know what the method is. Anyway, she is fabulous. I bought her for $10 at a garage sale a couple of weeks before, a couple of weeks ago. And this is by an artist called Sandra Marchetti and it's signed and numbered and I have her priced at 185. And unfortunately she's just sitting on the floor because I don't really have a space for her. But as soon as I get one, I'm gonna put her up. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a reseller and vintage store owner. If you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting yourself, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you, that you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, it's time for me to go home and I will see you on the next video.